welcome to Lego Tales, and today I am coming at you with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle review. This is the Crane Lab Escape set number 79100, recommended ages 5 through 12, 90 pieces, comes with two minifigures, and if you consider the Crane a minifigure, then that's perfect. It comes with a pizza, several weapons, and a nice little mech for the Crane. Um, lots of cool pieces here, and a nice printing on the back of the box, the side of the box, the other side of the box, the other side of the box, the last side of the box, and the front of the box. Very nice set. Comes with his nunchucks, comes with Michelangelo, the crane, and the foot soldier. So, without further ado, let's open up this set and build it. Maybe. Alright, let's all right, let's escape to the lab to review the set. Now, here's the instruction manual. You get the instructions of course, and you have a list of all the sets in the back, and a little comic adventure right here, and then a little bit of a fighting scene showing you all the details of the set. There's the instruction manual, you get a normal size twelve dollar instruction manual and right here you get four extra pieces, a red joystick, a purple stud, a brown little nunchuck piece and a printed piece you get an extra one of these printed pieces now this is like a printed excel monitor or whatever excel monitor i don't know if i'm saying that right but you do get a pizza which is nice you get a pizza piece and right here you have the foot soldier this is our first minifigure the foot soldier he comes with a little weapon right here i don't know exactly what that weapon is a little star on a ch chain there he has nice torso printing, nice back printing. He does have um, back head printing, no double-sided face though, and a nice head printing there. Very nice minifigure, even though we do get like one of these in every single set, except for the um, anyway, except for the 2014 wave of sets. You don't get these minifigures in there, but it's still we still get these in all the 2013 wave of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets. But still, very very nice minifigure. Next up is Michelangelo. I couldn't decide between the Krang or Michelangelo, but this is Michelangelo, and I think this is the minifigure that's going to make this set go. Um, as you can see, the shell on the back, very nice shell piece, and I love that torso printing, and those nunchucks are very awesome, and then that head printing is just really, really cool. And um, there's his legs, his bottom right there. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Nice. He's the orange, born in the orange color. Has an orange headband. You can see his mouth open because he's hungry for pizza. Um, and nice, very nice torso printing. And he does have back printing. Let's see what that looks like. Take off the head. Take off the shell. That's what the back printing on this minifigure looks like. So just, I really love this, these shell pieces that you get with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Just makes them very unique and cool. And there's Michelangelo. Next minifigure up, or figure, is the Crane. Now, I'm just going to take him out and review him separately. But uh, this is the Crane. He's sort of a soft rubber minifigure. Or figure, whatever. I don't know if you consider him a minifigure. But the uh, strange thing I found out about this minifigure is... Let's see if I can get this off. Um, I can't. Anyway, right in there, as you can sort of see, there's a minifigure head. That is a minifigure's head. Can't, I can't get it out, but... Uh, let's see, maybe this will get it out. Nope. Anyway, there's a pink minifigure head. No printing on that head, but it's just to keep it nice and soft and solid. But if you take that off, it's a soft little figure there. He has a total of six legs, 
with hands on each. It's very, I, I like this figure kind of. It's kind of weird, but kind of cool. Next, we'll move up to the Krang Walker. Now, this is like the Krang mech that you get, and it can turn 360 degrees all the way around. And if you open it up right here, there's one stud right there, and those are the printed Excel Montreal. Excel, I can't pronounce that word right now, I'm sorry. But um, there's those pieces right there, the same printed pieces which we get an extra of, which I think are exclusive to the set. But we just put the crane on that stud right there. And just close the thing on him, and now he's inside of his little mech. You do get flick missiles. And um, you get two of them on each side. They can go up or down. See, see, they can go up or down. I prefer them kind of down, but not totally out to the side. I prefer them kind of like that. But then you do get moving legs, which I have them all the way up, so they're not going to move up anymore. But um, let's see. As you can see, they can move all four of them. There's four of them. Can move. And bring them back here. You have some jet pieces or something right back there to give it a little bit of boost. And that is pretty much the crane little mech you get. And it's nice, translucent yellow colors, transparent yellow colors. Very, very nice build right there. I really, really like this build. It's very, very cool. On to the next little build we get is a little bit of a mutation chamber now. I guess this is where they capture Michelangelo to try to get him to turn him to something else or either back to human or into a weirder monster than he already is. But um, let's just put Michelangelo on there and you take off his nunchucks. Okay, so you take off his nunchucks and you can put the nunchucks on these hooks right here for storage. Give him back to him when he's done mutating. And just put him in there. And we'll just put him on here right here. And then you just put this piece on over it. And I don't think he can really stand up on studs. There's no studs here. I mean, I guess you could probably make him lean back a little bit, but not really. So you can't, you have to really keep him up, up on like that. So. Let's see, we gotta put this on. Try to keep him standing up in there while we put this on. There we go. Now Michelangelo is in uh, the mutation chamber, all uh, locked up and um, getting ready to mutate. And this is a little handle that you pull down to turn him into a, whatever you're turning him into. And then there's a little piece right here, a printed piece, which we get in a ton of sets, Star Wars ships, Marvel superhero ships, so you get this normal piece. We get that that a lot. But then the one of the main features is he uh, slips out the pizza. The foot soldier comes and slips on the pizza, falls down, knocking this down, which makes him escape. Which you make him escape by you press hold this down. Be sure to hold that down, and then just pop him out of there so that he can escape. And that's basically what this lever does. So. Speaking, he throw he has the pizza in there with him, he throws him out, the crane, I mean the foot soldier falls down, pulls the little lever down, which shuts down the whole system and makes it fall around and then it just pops out and Michelangelo is free. So that is pretty much the little crane lab escape that we get. It's a nice little build, we get nice we get three nice figures. Um, I really love the Krang, and I really like Michelangelo. I mean, I'm pretty sure Michelangelo and the Krang are what's going to make this set go. Because I know Michelangelo is the star of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Everyone loves Michelangelo. So that's one reason. The other reason is the Krang, I think, is exclusive to this set. Um, Michelangelo is not, but this is the cheapest set to get him in. Unless you get him in a poly bag, which is... Um, Mikey's shell, mini shell razor. So that's this is really the only way to get him. If you wanted to get get him cheap, so uh, and plus you get some nice builds. You get a mech, you get a foot soldier to add to your foot soldier collection army there, and then you get a pizza. So you can't really go wrong with this build. I mean, even if you already have all the minifigures in the set and you just want to get another pizza, I would still get it. It's only $12.99. Very, very good price there. 
Um, you get 90 pieces, a little low on the piece range there, but I still think that it is worth its money, and nothing in this set disappoints me at all, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.5. Um, I'm just saying, it's. I'm not giving it a 10, because, I mean, it's not what I would call a, um, I mean, it's not the Milano Spaceship Rescue. I mean, it looks cool, but it's not as cool as the Milano Spaceship Rescue. Let's just say that. Um, I don't have that set yet, but it looks really cool. But um, I'm going to give this a 9.5, like I said before. It's an awesome set. Great set. Love the minifigures. And um, there you go. I gave it a 9.5. And like this video now and subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. I love reading your guys' comments. And... I will see you in the next video here on Lego Tales TV.